I right, was right away like intrigued by because I was looking for a a female driven um, action movie, but also with as I always tried to look for a not a action for action sake, but an action with a heart, with a purpose, with a reason for the female protagonist to actually do what she's doing. Trying to figure out how a regular, non-specifically skilled human reacts when he's like hit in the face by a dramatic and brutal situation is compelling to me. So I think that's what I was looking for in this movie. Like how does Mrs. Mrs. Smith, the regular mom, uh, how, how does she cope with that? But if you're brutally hit in the face by the most dramatic thing that can happen in your life, how do you deal with it? It's a vigilante story. Uh, it's the story of a, a mom of a you know, very hardworking, beautifully you know, nice heart woman whose uh, family, her husband and her daughter, are killed uh, in a drive-by shooting. And uh, the terrible, like she's like hit in the face by this terrible and dramatic like circumstances, and and she's trying to you know cope with it, uh, hoping that at least justice will be made. And actually, justice is not made because of corruption, because of cops and judges being bribed and lawyers being like crooked. And she uh, just blows a fuse. She's like, okay, I'm going to disappear. And she actually disappears and like out of the grid for five years and comes back. And we figure out that she actually she took those five years to train and to learn how to do justice herself. It's all about the emotional journey for me in this movie. If there's no emotional journey, there's no reason for the action. If it's action driven, not emotionally driven, I'm not interested. And I think this is what was great with Jen because she is so into the emotion of the story. She's just, she's there all the time. And you just completely believe that that woman, at that moment, with what happened to her life, would snap and become something else. It's not about being a superhero. I don't, I don't like superheroes. I like people with a heart, and I like people with flaws. I think that's what is interesting in her. She is beyond all the action which she did great by the way she trained hard and we had a lot a lot of fights she did everything herself which is what I always expect because it shows I think it was something that we all wanted to see again I mean she already knew her from Elias and all those like previous things she did and she had not been playing that for a long time and I think she and I we're very happy to do this at that exact moment in her life and because she is exactly who she is in life. She's a mom. She is, it's, it's her life. <laughs> and then be able to switch back to action was exactly the right moment, I think. I, as an audience, I'm not fooled anymore when I see that it's a stunt or it's a CGI thing or it's something that has been completely created. It's fake. I can see it. I can feel it. And in these type of movies, when you really want to be with the character all the time, the fact that everything is performed by the actor is key. So I was very happy that you know, Jen was ready to embrace that and to train. And she was very physical. She's very fit. Even before we started training her, she was very fit, and she was dead on, ready to go for it. And that was that was that was uh, yeah, that was very important in the process. John is something I wanted to work with for a long time. Actually, I saw him in many movies, uh, some of Michael Mann's movies, just to say, just at least. Is, is I mean, it's something I, I find fascinating in his capacity to be. It can be very scary. It can be completely crazy. He has such a range of, 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 of like, you know, the way he plays is very interesting. At first, Detective Carmichael, it seems to be everything you want from, from a guy. He's, like, he's compassionate, he's, like, he's, he's touched by all those terrible things that he sees, and you, do, you, and you get to trust him. And maybe we shouldn't.